Hey there guys, welcome back to another ration review and today we have a German Iman Pakung type 2. Now this is the German 24 hour ration and I believe this is a vintage one from around 1996. So we shall see and yeah, let's open it up. All right, let's have a close look at it. As you can see, I have Iman Pakung right on the front. This is type 2 and it is NATO approved and it's just a simple cardboard box, nothing on the back. We have some stains. So, yeah, this is a rough one. Uh, might not be edible. More than likely, I won't be able to try most of the components, if not any of them. So, all right, let's open it up. See what it looks like. All right, and we're in. Let's see what we got. And it looks like we have some tea extract. Get two of them. And we have a chocolate drink mix. Very nice. There's some leakage somewhere. All right, it looks like this was leaking and this appears to be some kind of pate. Could be wrong. And there's our first date code and it's 1996. So. We'll get rid of that. Here's the first main entree and it's a goulash, more than likely a beef goulash. And there's the date code 1996. So this is definitely a 1996 Ayman Pakum. Let's see what else we got. We have a lemon powder and it looks like it's been compromised. See that pinhole? All right. We have a grapefruit drink and it looks like it's been compromised. There you can see a couple of holes. So, water purification tablets. And we have a liverwurst that you can see it's been leaking compromised so much for that one All right we got this and I'm not entirely sure what it is but I believe it's some kind of fruit salad or something to that effect but I'll hit it with the translator just to make sure we have another I believe pate this was beer worst and we have some nasty mold on it so yeah. All right, so it looks like we have a disinfectant wipe or moist toilet. Could be wrong. We have some crackers. Looks like they're from Italy. Very interesting. And we have more water purification tablets. All right, and we got this and not sure what this is, but we'll hit it with the translator as well. We have another main entree and we'll get it translated in a minute. We have some more crackers. We have four packages of sugar, or at least I think it's sugar. We have some salt. You get two packages of salt, some coffee. We have some Stimerol peppermint gum. We have some vintage German chocolate or chocolate. Very nice. We have some trash bags. You see they're stained and in really bad shape. So put these off to the side. We have a list of the contents and you can see all the stains from the rotting food. <laughs> all right, so we have, all right, so that mystery package looks like it was matches. 
There's the list. If you guys want to read that. And that's it. All right, guys, there you have it. The vintage 1986 German Eimann Packung. And as you can see, it's a very impressive ration. You get lots of sides, lots of drinks, and some pretty big portions for entrees. But that being said, you can tell this ration was stored very poorly. Most of the items look like they were compromised and unedible, but we'll see. We'll prepare it as usual, like if we were going to eat it. And if anything's good and edible, then I guess we can try it, but I can tell that at least 90% of this ration is completely gone. But yeah, I might take one for the team and just, you know, try something. Let's begin with the drinks and then we'll try the rest. All right, let's check out the tissue or moist toilet. Let's see what kind of shape it's in. It's completely dry. That's no good. All right, so let's check out the cold drinks. Right, we have the lemon powder and the grapefruit. I assume it's powder, but it feels more like a solid. Uh, <laughs> it's obviously been compromised to what it looks like. Let's open it up. And there you can see that moisture got in there, so. Pretty much ruined it. Let's see what it looks like dissolved. It's kind of hard to get it out. <laughs> right, so we'll just let this sit for a few hours and then we'll get back to it. Let's check out the grapefruit drink. And it looks like it's not doing very well. Let's uh, get it in our glass. Just really stuck in there. All right, there we go. It's coming along. <laughs> Good enough. Let's give it a little stir. All right, so we'll just let them sit for a few minutes. We'll get back to them. So let's check out the hot drinks of the hot chocolate, some tea and the coffee. Also have some sugar. All right, so let's get some hot water. All right, let's check out the chocolate drink mix. Let's see what it looks like. And there you have the chocolate drink mix. Just looks like a fine powder. And it does smell like chocolate, Just a little bit stale. Just give it a stir. And there you have the chocolate powder mix thing. It's got some froth on the surface. Looks pretty good. But yeah, let's give it a little sip. Yeah, what can I say? That's incredibly stale. You can definitely taste the sweetness, the chocolate, but it just tastes weird. And uh, yeah, that's enough of that. All right, let's try the tea. Take one. And there you have it, just a fine powder. We'll add some sugar just to make it nice and sweet. 
whiskey rooster. Yeah, it definitely smells like tea. Looks like tea. Um, let's see if it tastes like tea. <laughs> yeah, that definitely tastes like tea. It just has that extra layer of staleness, which kind of kills it for me. So, yeah. All right, let's check out the coffee. See if this is any good. There you have it, you get three grams. There's the back. All right, so this is the whitener. <laughs> Not the coffee. All right, so we have two whiteners and what appears to be no coffee. So we'll just do that. There's the creamer and sugar and yeah, we're not going to try that. All right, let's check out the other components. Check out the biscuits or crackers, whatever you want to call them. Here we have the crackers. Let's open them up. Nice hiss. Twelve crackers. I'll just place some here. All right, there you have the cracker, and it smells incredibly stale. But let's try it. Yeah, those crackers are really stale and bleachy. They sort of taste like the old school MRE crackers. They have that same kind of taste. All right, let's try the chocolate. This might be edible. There's the back. And there you have it. Old German chocolate. Let's try it. Yeah, that chocolate looks perfect. Looks like it's completely edible, but looks can be deceiving. That chocolate is completely unedible. It's extremely stale. It's got a weird taste to it. Yeah, what a shame. All right, let's keep going. Let's, uh, let's keep torturing ourselves. And this is the fruit salad. All right, let's see what it looks like. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Oh man, that is funky. Wow. And there you have your German fruit salad and yeah, I'm not trying that. Let's get onto our tray. Oh yeah. There's the fruit salad. All right, looks like there's some raisins. Looks like there's some nuts. And this smells very strong. It smells like spoiled milk. It's the best way I can describe it. And uh, give you guys a close up what I'm dealing with. But yeah, we'll just leave that alone. We won't mess with it. It's not worth the trip to the ER. So, all right, let's keep going. Let's. Uh, we're still alive, so. All right, so this is the goulash. All right, I guess we'll cut it open. Nice hiss. <laughs> and yeah, there is a pleasant smell coming off of this. <laughs> and I'm just uh, being a little bit sarcastic. Man, that reeks.
oh man, that smell is just uh, it's incredible. <laughs> All right, so I see some beef, see some potatoes, carrots, peas, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It just looks like a beef stew. See some of the gravy. All right, so let's get a close up and then we'll get rid of it. Oh man, I can't stand that smell. All right, so there you have it. The beef goulash from 1996 and yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that has death written all over it. All right, let's check out the other entree. We'll cut it open. Let's see if we hear that hiss. Oh, no hiss. Right, surprisingly this one doesn't smell that bad let's see what it looks like right, we have a bunch of rice looks like we have some sausages or the four fingers of death of one two three and yep get all four of them yeah it just looks like rice with carrots looks like peas and maybe bell peppers let's get a nice close-up And there's the rice. Looks nice and deadly. And let's check out one of the hot dogs or whatever this is, mummified frankfurters. Oh yeah. But yeah, this one doesn't smell as bad as the goulash, but I'm not trying it, not worth it. All right, let's see what else we have. Why not? Here we have some kind of pate, not sure what kind, pork, beef. And there you have the pate, it's nice and moldy and it's going straight in the trash. All right, let's move on to something else. Let's check out the matches. And here's the German matches. These German matches are Probably the coolest matches in a ration. Let's try one out. <laughs> Let's try another one. There we go. Still works. Very nice. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep these and use them. And here we have another container of pate and this one has a special feature. There's something special about this one. I'm sure you guys can hear it. Yeah, why bother? Throw in the trash. And we have another pate and it's also been compromised. It's got a couple of holes, so why not open it? Just looks like meat. It's been rotting for a couple of decades. There you have it, let's, uh, let's dig in. And as you can see, it looks very appetizing. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, this is the grapefruit drink. It's completely dissolved. It smells like old vitamin C. And here's the lemon drink. And as you can see, it still hasn't 
fully dissolved. We have to give it another uh, day or so. And the last thing we have is the Stimerol gum. Let's see what it looks like. And it just looks like chiclets. what it looks like and we'll just leave it at that i'm sure it just tastes like peppermint gum all right guys there you have it the german aimen pakung epa type 2 from 1996 it's a very interesting ration they just don't hold up it's just the nature of the beast just the way it was made and designed it was just made to last at least three years and that's it that's why retort pouches are better for storage better for a longer shelf life it's just how it is. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, leave a comment, let me know. Yeah, I just want to thank all of you. Thanks to all my patrons for your support. As always, thank you guys for watching. See you soon.